Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming to you here from the Historic Square at the University of Mississippi in Oxford. We're here today on a historic event. I'm wearing the cap representing the University of Maryland, the alma mater of the late U.S. Senator Joseph D. Tidings. Senator Tidings is up in heaven today smiling down upon us. Folks, we've got 293 co-sponsors on HR 693, also known as the Tidings Memorial Past Act, to end forever the big lick animal cruelty. This measure is going to get a vote in the United States House of Representatives. We've all worked so hard to see that happen. And when that vote takes place, it's going to be the end of the big lick animal cruelty. Maybe not perhaps by statute, but the whole United States will have weighed in, had its say, and voted overwhelmingly to abolish the pads and chains which are necessary for the big lick animal cruelty racket. The time is up for Shelbyville perpetrators of animal cruelty. Shelbyville is a great place, but what goes on there is not great. Help us, stay with us, support us. We're gonna be at Columbia, Tennessee next week for the fifth straight year. We're gonna win this, we are winning it. Thank you, Senator Tidings. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you, the United States House of Representatives, the leadership, Republican and Democrat. Now, let me mention something to you. This isn't a bunch of Yankee liberals. We're the South. We have remarkable uh, Republican support. Uh, Representative Martha Roby, Montgomery, Alabama, uh, is on board. Representative Patrick McHenry, who President Trump said was the greatest name in politics. He represents Gastonia, North Carolina, which is the hometown of Tom Kakassi who's the big lick lawyer who said at one time, I'm a proud HPA violator. That's a direct quote. Folks, the tide has turned. We have Mark Bettas from North Carolina. He's the Freedom Caucus chairman. That's where Asheville is located. That's where Cobblock has been the last five years. This is just a matter of finishing it up. Let's stay the course. Let's get that vote. We need 300 or 320 co-sponsors. We're gonna do that. You've been with us all the way. Thank you so much. Enjoy today, and then let's get to work in the morning. Thank you, Senator Tidings. Thank you so much.